Now this is a video game review for Sid Meier's Pirates for the PC. Released around 2004, this is a pretty immersive pirate game that lets you freely sail across the Caribbean and play the game pretty much how you want to. Uh, there is a story, but if you choose not to follow it, that's absolutely up to you. Firstly, there's a cutscene introduction, which shows how your fairly well-to-do family is sold into servitude by the e uh, the wicked and evil uh, Marquis, although your character, just a boy at the time, manages to escape and in true story form vows revenge on the Marquis. Now, after that, ten years pass and you have the opportunity to sign up with any of the main four nations, England, France, Holland or Spain. This doesn't really make much of a difference, uh, but later on in the game you may want to cause trouble for your enemies and achieve higher rank within that uh, nation or that faction. Indeed, the factions seem to act independently from your own actions, and you'll even see at times, say, an English warship sailing to supplant a Dutch settlement, uh, and another ships sailing backwards and forwards, which gives this uh, game a real, f a real depth and a feeling that the impression that this is a living, breathing world. On your voyage, as you've just seen, you will, you will mutiny against your your captain and you will end up owning your ship and this is where the game pretty much begins with you with a small a small ship and a small crew and humble beginnings so as you can see from the beginning I mean it's uh, you're just pretty much thrown into it and it's very very simple to pick up up down left right are the controls for the for the ship couldn't be easier to begin with you'll want to talk to everyone you can in the uh, nearest possible town, including the governor or the mayor, and you can hear uh, in the tavern you can hear gossip about the location of merchant ships and pirates you may want to sink, recruit locals to add to your crew, as shown in a second, and also buy helpful items from this mysterious traveller, things such as uh, treasure maps or items that improve your dancing or fighting abilities. Uh, there are a whole load of uh, different items to buy in this game, so it'll keep you uh, keep you giving you something to spend your money on anyway. The map is really expensive and I'd say for the first time ever playing this I didn't visit a good 80% of the settlements easily. That's not such a loss as they're all pretty much laid out the same. The um, You can upgrade your ships and different ships will have different turning speeds, speeds and uh, cargo ca capacities and things. Later on if you really want to irritate certain factions and you, and you do happen to um, piss them off a bit, they will end up blasting cannons at you if you drift too near the coast or too near the settlement, and that's like a really nice touch to the game. So there's even like a relation system. The, the, the naval combats are really easy to control, just like the naval movement of the game, and size is not everything uh, in these combats. If you're smart, you can easily take down a larger ship with a smaller crew. Just be careful not to sink it or you won't receive any financial reward. If you close into the enemy system, uh, ship even, a sword fight will usually ensue and again it's easily controlled. I mean I was using a laptop mouse for this particular one. Uh, so, but it's a nice addition to the game. Gives it a nice piratey feel and later on you'll get more technical sort of swords and tougher opponents so there's a little bit um, of variation in the game as as it progresses and uh, you will also probably want to uh, keep the ship that you took and although you can only use one ship in uh, in any any one fight you can keep others to store cargo on and later on sell that cargo at the, the, the marketplace and uh, repair them and things. Uh, another touch the game as shown here is of the, the dances and things and these dances if um, let's see if if done well if you manage to impress her with uh, your your good dancing ability uh, again it's um, something that's fairly simple but it's a nice addition to the game then they'll usually uh, give you reveal some information about local um, local pirates or ships that you may want to scupper now the game you can pretty much play as you want to. You can follow the main story and piece together the information about the whereabouts of your family, or you can try and become the number one pirate by wiping out the competition, or just destroying uh, enemy ships or sailing around randomly. Uh, you can try and rise to the top of your particular faction 
or you can, as I said, just do pretty much what you want. The sword fights, dances, land battles, as you'll see in a second, and general sailing can is simply done, but adds a level of depth to the game that otherwise might not be there when when you when you add it all together. There's uh, there's enough to this game. The graphics are really gorgeous. The bright colours really suit the laid-back style of the game. The music also makes you feel like a pirate as you navigate your way around. There's not so much in this game that you'll find it hard to settle. Uh, you'll find it hard to settle in on, and you know the course of action. There's there's enough, and and in the top left there's suggestions of what you can can be getting on with. So I'd say each um, general lifetime lasts around a good seven hours, and you can revisit the game and play it slightly differently. As I said, if you want to uh, be the top pirate or actually complete the story, and you can uh, prioritize differently and have different aims. This is a really well presented and balanced game and if there was one gripe it's that it's a little bit wee uh it's a wee bit too casual. Um it, it happens to this also happens really to be its charm I suppose. Something that will have you picking it up and playing it intuitively within minutes, not really sort of uh rummaging through a manual and getting lost as to what's going on. So on the one hand it's it's the the best aspects of the game. On the other, it, it kind of limits it a little bit, and it's just a little bit too general. But it's still a it's a pick up and play, nice enjoyable game. So um, you know, ultimately, I uh, I quite liked it. It was good fun. So I'm going to give this game a seven point six out of ten. And that's me.